Hi, what are you watching? And welcome back to Football Manager 2020, uh, where we have a very tough away trip to Bradford following our um, FA Cup win over our former affiliates, Shrewsbury Town. Um, the draw has been somewhat kind slash unkind to us, um, in that we've drawn a very strong championship side, which given that we've played um, here in the past I think we played Forest and Leicester um, we, you know we got 19 20,000 um, Leicester being Premier League that was obviously a bit disappointing but West Ham United I think will send out a strong support um, they've got a 60 odd thousand seat stadium so we could see 40,000 um, which could see us rate in half a million quid um, which would be fantastic um if they field a weaker uh, a weakened team that could become an even better game but that is a month away um it's the first of december today and that game takes place on the first of january uh, or currently it might actually end up being on the tv although i doubt it um bradford away is a very tough game and in preparation for that west ham game um we're going to try a defensive um a very defensive lineup so um let's go to team selection we're going to go to team three here um and we're going to amend this so we can take out a gung bow well we don't actually need to we're going to go with the back four right um we're then going to set two players i think let's try this at first two players in front of it one in the middle and then I think we might go with two wide players so we'll have something that looks like that right in terms of who's going to play in those positions um Todorov sounds pretty strong although that looks to have been in the last couple of games um but we'll play him up front as a target man and in an attacking role we're gonna play um, these guys as uh, supportive fullbacks and we're gonna bring in Hockland Hall and Where's my other... Th oh, there he is. He's on my left wing. That's why I was looking for Colvin. Wondered where he'd gone. And then we need to figure out... It's Covalho. And Bridge and Angle. Okay, so... Defensive midfield. Oh, I've just unselected him. Defensive midfield alongside Fofana. So he can be a ball winning midfielder. Defensive. He can be a um, What's the second of all aren't they? That seems like a pretty interesting role. So he could play Segundo Volante. And he's going to be an anchor man. That seems pretty interesting. Okay, now wide on the right, wide on the left, it's going to be King. He's going to be a defensive winger and support overall. And then we need someone down the right side. I think it's going to have to be Stevenson. And he is going 
would be a defensive winger too. Then, in the middle of the park, Shelton's in the best form, but he's banned. So I'm going to bring... Egan Riley's not playing that well. So he's going to miss out for Askew. And then in. oh, Egan Riley, Hayden. So who's going to play in the centre? Bridge, 6.9 or Carvalho? Hmm. Probably Bridge. And he's going to play as a... One of those. Yeah. Right, so we need two midfielders now. I think what we might do is we'll take Hayden out for a manco because he can play almost as a defensive midfielder, at least that's what we're training him to do. Um Satuna is gonna come in. Cavalio and then Herdman and Ball. I think that's what we're going with. Colvin's a bit tired, but he's still getting a game. I think that's what I might go with here. Yeah? In terms of a starting 11. I'm going to go with a balanced mentality. Or are we going to go cautious? Yes, yeah, we go with that. Um, we're going to attack wide. Overlaps. For set pieces. In transition, we want to regroup counter. And distribute the flanks. Out of possession. He's tight marking. So I think that's what we're going to go with. That's what we're going to go with. Remember, we're expecting to lose here. This is more about how competitive we are. What's this? A cautious four two three one custom. Copy that and then save it. it should give it its name. Yeah, it does. In what month is it? December. See. Perfect. Now. Are we happy with the subs that we've got? Yeah, because of Gungbo and Shelton are banned, so I think that's it. Cool. 
and see why we can't go for it. Tower of Captain. Expected to prove a point. Seems a bit harsh. first 10 minutes which we will be happy with. So I've had a majority of shots but this is sort of the first significant straight the keeper. Oof. That's the ball. I don't know why we have not much space. So King has took a knock and is on yellow. He's going to have to come off for Satuna. He has a bit of pace to offer, so that could be interesting. Pace to get the half time. No, no. A minute and a half left of injury time. Dangerous free kick. Reeves. Keeper punches. Oh, edge of the area. Good block by. Not going to happen here. And it's half time. And the better team have had the better chances, but it's no no. Um, passionate. Tubber off with his own half underway. Bradford made the first changes for themselves this game. Stevenson, oh, kicks out with a yellow card. Obvious one if I've ever seen one. Oh, that was the keeper, I love that keeper. It's an absolutely nothing. I'm just pulling my socks up there. Fred for a bit, I can see. Only on Todorov off for Herdman. We're going to change him to a puncture. We're going to change our wingers to be actual wingers now. Attacking ones at that. And we'll hang fire with Danielson for. 10 minutes or so. Dangerous free kick. We're going to top. That's going to come forward. Just gives possession away. They can go for it again. Oh, that's fortunate. We're going to be able to corner. So I'm going to take off bridge for the Nielsen. And maybe we're going to have to go positive here. Corner to Bradford. Colvin away. 
Cavallo picks it up and he's going to look to feed it. He'll have to feed Herdman. He does. Over the top. What a chance. Dangerous free kick. Seven minutes to go. Punched away. Into the area. And that's so you can see them from distance. We're not going to too bad of a formation here. Certainly if we train it for the next four weeks. Well, that's a Cavallo. Good morning, pulls one back. I have to go for it. Should drop the site. Very direct. Huge tempo, never time wasting. Let's go for it. Three and a half minutes of injury time remaining. Got a lovely header by Herman. Three minutes to go. Please. Oh, penalty for some reason. I really didn't see what he's done wrong, to be fair. That's it, so wrong. And then, it'll be for a time. Go forward to turn it into it. Come on Chance for Herdman to try and get one again. Oh, he was running to attack that front there. Got the call him. Got the Fafana. Come on, guys. That'll be full time. No? Well, I think. The formation is terrible. I know we got beat 3 1, but I'm not going to tell them they're excellent. Give it your best. Yeah. There we go. Not too disheartened with that. Six points off the playoffs, 14 points off relegation. We'll take that with three games to halfway. Weston Hughes out for a while. Um, technical gamble fails. That's our first defeat in seven. I stand by that technical change. It was never going to work for us. Um, uh, we're never going to beat them otherwise. And now at least we have this formation being trained. Somewhere that shows you the familiarity with all tactics. Is that it there? No. Team report. There was somewhere I'm sure I showed it all on one page, but here. Um, right. Plymouth coming up tomorrow.
for the whole making progress, that's good. Egan Riley. Just needs more time playing left wing back, which he's getting. Just a moment we can do the technical brief. Scouting is going to ignore him for now. Value is going to get praised. They're all training well, good on them. And we'll come back to that, I think. Home to Plymouth. That, yeah, well, that was always going to happen. So another couple of games. So that means he'll miss the third, fourth, and fifth round. So I think he'll be back for the quarters. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny. Um, if only. Um, right, we are at home to Plymouth. Um, oh, we've gone past our usual cutoff. I apologise. Um, Yeah, five of the um, sizable overrun. Apologies for that. Oh, no, it's not. There's no overrun at all. I was getting confused thinking that we actually did piggyback that onto the um, the FA Cup game, but we didn't. Um, we put a break in because we we're already over on that FA Cup game. Okay, so that's good news. Um, we'll be back for the next episode with a home game against Plymouth. Um, if you want 20 seconds, we really need to to, to, to discover our attacking ways and, and, and win that one. Um, following that away at Swindon, which is also a team against a, a lower um, positioned side. And then that brings with to play Cambridge, and who knows uh, what the difference will be when that game happens. Exeter are 23rd at the moment, um, and they're a Boxing Day away fixture. And then we've got Salford away before that game against West Ham. Um, so I will um, say thank you very much. I'll tell you to keep safe. And until next time, we'll say bye-bye. So bye-bye.